My name is Sarah Hokinson, and I work at Boston University. Welcome to the Postdoc Academy. This week, we'll be exploring the transition into your role as a postdoc and how to set yourself up for success as you build professional relationships. Not only can expectations differ between a postdoc and their mentor, but the communities that you interact with in your postdoc role might also be different than you experienced previously. This module will help you successfully parachute into your postdoc position and hit the ground running. Hello, my name is Jonathan Gustafson and I am a postdoctoral research fellow at Rush University Medical Center. Beginning my postdoc was a unique experience compared to my PhD program as I was the first postdoc in the lab at the time. Unlike my PhD where I had structured classes and my peers to talk to, it took me over two months at the start of my postdoc experience to figure out who the people were to talk to, whether about my science or even just a good place to grab lunch. I had a similar experience in my postdoc too. I was the only postdoc in my research group for the first few months of my appointment and I was so excited when another postdoc joined my lab. But reflecting back on it, I also could have branched out beyond my group a lot sooner. In this module, we'll talk about three big ideas that I hope will help postdocs that are either transitioning into new groups or feeling stuck in their current group. My experience early in my postdoc was a wake-up call to see truly how independent I was compared to my PhD. I was working on an entirely new project as part of an NIH R01 grant, and so I had to acquaint myself with the new literature and get up to speed quickly. A key part of my early progress was having regular meetings with my PI and mentors to make sure I fully understood the direction of the project I was working on while getting feedback for new directions I wanted to take the research. Clear and frequent communication is vital. I couldn't agree more with that, which is why we will also help you identify your own goals and expectations for your postdoc position and help you think about how your goals align with those of your mentor. We'll discuss how your expectations might change over time and what to do when your expectations and your mentor's expectations are misaligned. The first week in my onboarding process at Rush was challenging, and I went online to use the My IDP or Individual Development Plan to begin to think about my own goals and objectives for my postdoc experience. It was a great resource for me to be able to reflect on experiences to date, develop goals I could work towards, and ultimately create a vision of where I wanted to end up. By reviewing this with my PI, we set up early expectations and clear goals together. In addition to the MyIDP, MyPI also put me in touch with the Director of Mentoring Programs and Postdoc Committee at Rush, where I was able to form a strong network of support outside of my lab immediately. And you know, I bet having all those things in place reduced your stress as a postdoc, but now it's a lot easier to get your work done. You have taken the first step to joining a new community here at the Postdoc Academy, but that doesn't stop here. As you go through these modules, continue to think about ways you can interact with others at your institution and employ the skills you will learn throughout the modules to positively impact your own postdoctoral experience.